And guys, I got this going here now. It's uh, I'm not sure how many volts, but the capacitor bank is run down, and I'm just going from like negative just moves along the bank. That's all of the whole cap bank being used. This is a positive, so I got it's hooked up right here. I'm gonna measure that voltage right now just to see what it is. Motor's running. 30.86 volts. So it's running on the cap bank, obviously, right? So now I'm just going to put this to frequency. And it's hooked to this coil here on the AC legs the bridge rectifier so it's there's six, uh, 10 magnets 10 poles on that one north south so you can do the math I'm just going to prop this up on here this cut bank see it a little better sorry about the inverter can't stop it because it burns everything in here so looks like we're might be increasing just a tiny little bit it's pretty stable there where it is though it's probably not going to increase that much more maybe a few more hertz going up really slow anyway there's no back EMF being collected either so right here I have the Positive is hooked to the light right here. These are two 12 volt LEDs in series Here's a negative just comes out here and it's in there. This is just sitting on a cap bank and It's running the meter itself is run with an 18650 Just so I can prop it up So Looks like it's pretty much stabilized but so I'm going to just hook it up just by harvesting the back EMF. You can see the gauges right here. It's about 35 milliamps. Hook this up. See the lights are on. It's dropped down to about 25 now. And it's speeding up. And now I'm going to uh, put the power, see I've taken it off again and it's slowing back down. Well eventually it'll slow down. I think it's still speeding up though. And it just didn't leave it go long enough. And that little bit of momentum helped it speed up a bit. Just don't want to make too long of a video. But you can see it's not going out very fast. Not compared to when I put the power in. So I'm going to put it back like that. Oops. I'm going to feed the power right back into the source. Loop it. So now you can see the lights are on. And it's speeding up. And it also dropped the current back down to 25 again. And this is without tuning it or anything. It's just a quick video. Put this together. And I know you, anybody who has this driver circuit, this type of setup will be able to get really good results if they just sit down and tune it. If I sat here and went through the caps on the on the uh, driver circuit for the frequencies and stuff like that, the timing, there's all sorts of stuff, the spacing from the coils, coils. You know, you can get way better results than this. You can get this to go right to negative. So. 
just need people that to actually do it and see for themselves. There's a lot of other stuff coming with this stuff that I've not talked about with these motors yet. And there's just so much you can do with them. Especially when it comes down to running loads. Like, just simple things you can do, like I've showed in previous videos too. Like some of my first Pulse Motor videos that I posted on YouTube are starting to put coils in series with the same input that increases the torque a lot well, and then you're you're adding inductance to the circuit too like that while well, actually reducing the input current so you can see it's barely speeding up here now. It's almost leveled out. So I'm going to feed the power right back to the motor again. You can just see the current drop to half. And the motor speeds up while running the load. And there's no battery in this. This is all super caps. And, like, there's no reason to run this many volts into it either. I can run... I can tune the circuit so I can get the same results or better with the lower voltage on the input. But, I don't have much time anyway. I just figured I'd make this quick video and, uh... I got a bunch of stuff to do yet, so... Thanks for watching, guys.